<laughs> hey guys, so I just thought I'd show you it's after hours here. I just finished my training. It's the bear, as you know. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, and I make all types of videos, as you know. Um, this year's been pretty awesome and awful at the same time, but this is one of my uplifting, happy, happy videos. I just wanted to show you the shop. This is Local 97 Ironworkers Union. I just finished my course on um, telehandler or uh, TFT, whatever it's called. I can't remember exactly. I just wanted to show you this welding booths, there's all this stuff. And I'm not going to do too much of a video here, but I just wanted to give you a quick bird's eye view kind of, well, maybe not a bird's eye view, a ground level view. I guess to be more accurate. But um, yeah, this is amazing, guys. If you could actually see what this place is, what it used to look like when I first started over 30, over 30 years ago in the rebar ironworking industry. Um, I was a carpenter for years, never got certified, but I was a carpenter. And I gave up the title of being an ironworker for a few years because of my accident. I technically was not an ironworker anymore, but I went back to work because of a long story I don't want to get into, but I just thought I'd show you the training course here. I'm just show you basically what they're doing. It's pretty cool, you know. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'm not doing a very good job here. I apologize, guys. But I'm just being very quick about this. I love this job. I love construction. I love being an iron worker. You know, after my accident, I couldn't do what I used to do. It was pretty pretty awful after my motorcycle accident anybody out there I, I don't know I've talked about it I've erased some of those videos it's it's pretty emotional for me what happened to me I got stabbed in my chest and had over 14 basically actually it's almost 15 surgeries now I got to go in for another one after being stabbed in my heart in a head-on collision and I've been wanting to go back to this trade but I'm back in again which is awesome and so I'm getting recertified Eventually, I'll get my brain recertified. <laughs> That's a joke, in case you didn't get it. And, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you what this place looks like now. It's just incredible. This is, like, basically my first time when I came back to BC here. Um, Conquitlam area. The men's washroom. Oh, my God. Here I am, guys. Hello. <laughs> Turn off the lights. Anyways, i got to get out of here. I'm done with my with my training for tonight, but I just wanted to show a quick little, you know, I make these video guys not so much for you as my, anybody watching my channel, it's, I'm not, a lot of the videos I make are not really for anybody else except myself. This is my memoirs. It's much easier than writing down in a dictionary, not a dictionary. Um, oh my God, what do you call it again? In a diary, this is much easier than a diary. This is kind of, you might say, that's why my I started my channel. It was all about what I was doing after my accident. You know, and I wanted to document my life. And this is part of my life. I've met so many awesome men and women in the ironworking trade who I love dearly. I think of them as my family. And these amazing people. I mean, oh, wow, man, just... I, I mean, I could make hours and hours of videos on ironworking. And I used to have lots of videos that, sadly enough, after my accident, I lost them all. Um, you know, because of problems with the ex-wife. But I don't want to get into that. Um, you know, I just thought I'd show you some of these really cool old pictures. I mean, this is just incredible. The times of my life, the best times of my life, of traveling through Canada, sometimes the States, all over the world even, working on different projects. And, you know, I've done so many different trades, but of all the trades, I love being an iron worker the most. It might not be as much as high paying as a lawyer or a doctor, but I tell you, man, there's something about working outside, something about working in the cold and heat. It's a tough trade. And if you're not tough, this will make you tough. Trust me, these men are not wimps. These men are not cowards. These are honest, hardworking, decent men. Without them, we wouldn't have roads. We wouldn't have bridges. We wouldn't have... I mean, these are the most amazing people in the world. There's no trade, no police officer, no judge, no lawyer, no doctor, no nurse. I'm sorry, but all you guys are awesome. But without iron workers, you wouldn't have roads 
to drive on. You wouldn't have an office to work in. You wouldn't have a hospital without iron workers. You know, this is something, I hate to use the word pride, but I'm happy, I'm truly happy to be someone, yeah, I worked on this actually. Uh, I don't know if my picture's in here or not, I'm not sure. Yeah, worked on that as well. But you know, it's, it's something I've just, I've always been so happy to be in, you know? It's amazing. So, you know, it's pretty cool. I went and got all my, well, not everything, but I got a lot of certifications recertified. And uh, yes, yeah, what we're learning today from Levitt Training, they're teaching everything, eh? Vertical Mast Counterbalanced Forklift. Telehandler, as some people call them. Yeah, so I just I thought I'd make a quick little video here of what I've been doing and where I've been working. And I actually worked on that. That should be the Portman, the new Portman Bridge, if I'm correct. And where else here? Oh, let's see which other projects I worked on. Oh, I worked on this one, BC Place. That's before my divorce, before my serious accident in 2013 where I got stabbed in my heart. <sighs> oh, man. There we go. I'm going to get out of here. There we go. All right. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. Locking the door. Uh -oh. There we go. It's locked. Good. That way nobody can come in here and steal anything. So, yeah, I just wanted to make a little video of this beautiful new building. I mean, I don't know how long they've been here for now. I think it's, I think it's been a few years. But I came back about a year ago, 2000 and 2022, and it's 2023, um, June the 21st, Thursday. Yeah, and I just thought I'd do a little video of my, of my little... My little career, getting back into the career. I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. Not much of a video. Just something I thought I'd make quickly. Oh, come on now. Okay, Max, got to let you out, buddy. Hang on. Yeah. So I've been traveling to different job sites. I've been living in my camper because I'm technically, I guess you might say, homeless at the moment. And this is my home. It's a mess. It's a total mess. This is my little camper. And this is my, this is my Max, my dog. The man in, what are you again? What are you? You my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? You're my cohort in crime? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Yeah, so he's my accomplice in the world of ironworking. That's right. Got to get a belt for you, buddy. The safety vest and a hard hat. Some hard hat boots, hard hat boots, <laughs> some steel toe boots. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here. And yeah, I just thought it'd be pretty cool. I love this place, man. I love iron workers and they're just so awesome. These are the people I respect the most. Amazing people. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Come on, boy. We got to get out of here. Let's go for dinner. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Hop up. Hop up. Good boy. I love you. Yes, I love you, buddy. Okay. All right. There you go, guys. I hope you like that. I am so tired. It's like, oh, I don't know. Started at 3. It is, gee, what time is it? I think it's like 7 o'clock. I don't know. Yeah, 7 o'clock. There you go. Perfect. So, yeah. So, I'm pretty happy. I passed all, well, not all my courses. I still got to do some welding training, get my WCB tickets. But I thought, oh, hey, guys, I'm just making a YouTube video. If you don't mind being in it. <laughs> Take care, guys. Right on. Congratulations, eh? Right on. Those are a couple of co-workers there, union members. And, yeah, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of this. So I'll show you this. Hopefully I don't screw this up. But, yeah. I got my, what's that say? Oops, upside down. My no blood card. And check that out. Ironworkers Local 97, Barry Collier. I got my telehandler certificate passed with flying colors. Got above average marks. Well, it's not that hard to do. But then again, I've been doing this so many years. Most of the stuff I've already know how to do it, but a lot of stuff I'm so rusty because I haven't been working in the trade for around 
around 10, who geez, over 10 years roughly since my accident. So there you go, guys. I still got to get a few more tickets or certifications, I should say. Uh, man, there's a lot of stuff, guys. I'm telling you, I probably had around, who I had my TSO training at one time, which is not really part of the union. I had my, oh my goodness, all my wed welding tickets, C-level here in BC, they call it C-level. Basically, it's your um, four positions, right? So I got to do that and stick and a bunch of other things. So anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go here. I want to get going for dinner. I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, I'll make some more videos. So hopefully you enjoyed that. But if you didn't, whatever. <laughs> I turn off my comments on my channel now. And I just hope you uh, enjoyed that. And anyways, take care from the bear. Bye for now.